Hello my darlings, Blashlili here with another pick a card reading and in this one we're going to be taking a look at what your future spouse is going through right now, what's happening in their life and their channeled message for you. If you guys are watching this in February, just a quick reminder that all of my love readings including the future spouse readings are discounted at this particular time until the end of the month okay so you guys can just email me uh, for more details the emails in the description box below all right my darlings so for today's reading pick a card reading we have three options option number one with an amethyst over here option number two with pink quartz and option number three with clear quartz over here so go ahead, take a deep centering breath in, see which crystal, which pile, which energy is calling out to you. If you need a little bit more time, pause the video, because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. All right, option number one with an amethyst. Let's go ahead and take a look at your cards and see what your future spouse is going through right now, what they're doing right now, and their channeled message for you. So we're going to start with your tarot cards over here. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups being reversed. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so look at that cup energy. So your future spouse is dealing a lot with their emotions right now. They could be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Quite possibly for pile number one, quite a few for, um, of your future spouses <laughs> are actually going through a breakup right now, going through some sort of loss, going through um, cutting people off because they are sort of seeing um, their true colors. They've seen their true colors and they realize that it's now time. Um, they feel like they haven't been loved. And that's that's very, that's quite heartbreaking to be honest. But they feel like they haven't been loved. They, it's either they, they're going through a breakup or there's just some sort of realization that they have never experienced true love. That it was all a mask, that it was all an illusion. And there's this deep and profound understanding of what true love is supposed to be like without actually experiencing it. So they are actually learning to love themselves, uh, but they are going through some difficult times. They are letting go of a lot of things, letting go of a lot of illusions. Yeah, look at that, lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Forge, don't follow, create a new path, be the leader you wish you had and trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out. So for a lot of you, my darlings, what I'm seeing is that your future spouse is worried about timing. Maybe it's their age, maybe it's just the fact that they feel like the time is running out. But they're learning to ride that wave. They're learning to go with the ebb and flow of the universe. They really are experiencing what it is to be able to trust and to surrender. Okay, they're really getting uh, getting a lot of things, a lot of people, and a lot of energy out of their life right now. Questioning everything, rebuilding the way that they see the world rebuilding the way that they see themselves and anything that's unaligned with them starting with people you know patterns including like what they eat what they watch the music that they listen to they're basically getting rid of of a mask that they were the the persona so it's like a major transformation and they are experiencing some sort of disappointment, some sort of loss, some sort of grief, okay? But it's more of the past and it's quite a lot for a lot of you. It's almost like this energy that they had in them for a long time, but it was repressed. So now it's coming out. Now it really is coming out. I see that they're spending a lot of time alone at this particular moment learning to accept love, learning to accept the love of themselves, of the universe into their life. 
they're saying that they have been misled for a lot of you they just there's this um, energy of being misled of going like oh my god i believed in wrong things for so long and then they're like okay you know what um they're developing this energy of a leader they're getting out of the victim mentality and they're saying you know what i've been misled by many people by many things by false things and now they're saying it's time for me to be the leader that i wish i had so uh, some of you uh, your future spouse might have not had a leader or a role model in their life it could be a parent a mentor like they, they never had it or even if they did they realized that it was wrong there was an illusion that led them to a wrong place it led them further away from their authentic self and now they're realizing no you know what it's it's like they're like i'm not going to wait for somebody to come and save me i'm not going to wait for somebody to come and show me the true path because they are trying and they are succeeding in listening to themselves in really finding their true authentic core okay and they are paving a new path and it is quite possible that they are moving to a new location that they're starting their career afresh there's this whole energy of you know doing things all over again but for them it's important because in the old energy that they were in they would have never of met you so they understand that but they really want to like hurry it up let's see the message that they have for you the romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection they're saying i can't wait to meet you i really can't wait to meet you and there's they're sensing that you might experience it, um, something similar to what they are going through and they're saying i'm gonna be incredibly romantic with you i'm gonna give you whatever it is you want so again that there's a lot of energy um of of water of emotions of love of affection i feel like a lot of you guys pound number one you haven't experienced a lot of that in your life so if your future spouse is coming through and saying there is going to be romance in your life there is going to be tenderness there is going to be joy they're saying don't rush i know you want to rush but if we meet right now it will not work both of us we have to do this thing both of us we have to grieve we have to end this process of grieving and i feel like i said a lot of you because you guys were attracted to this like very spiritual seventh chakra crystal that you guys are doing pretty much the same it is quite possible going through um some spiritual awakening okay but what they are saying is like they literally um they're very sweet they're saying I'm, I'm i can't wait to hug you i can't wait to hold you in my arms and slow dance at our wedding but what they're saying is like i want to make your wishes come true they really are and they're saying make a list of the things that you always wanted to do like a romantic bucket list okay it's like they're saying you want to go to france we're gonna go to france okay you want to like go swimming in 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 like in bali we'll go and do that okay they're saying like make like imagine us dancing together imagine me looking deep into your eyes they want you to feel that they want you to open your vibrations to that love because for a lot of you i feel you guys are really focusing on loss right now and they're saying we're gonna pave our own path we're gonna be trailblazers baby trailblazers baby and they're really coming through with like this encouragement because they're saying it's hard for me and that like, god i can't even imagine how hard it must be for you because for some of you, I am sensing twin flame energy. And they're saying you're beautiful inside and out. They're saying you don't have to hide. <laughs> they're laughing. They're saying, I see you. I see the real you. And I'm going to love the real you with your flaws and all. 
And I'm also here in the other saying I'm gonna bring you loads and loads of flowers so you guys might like flowers. This, your future spouse, pile number one, is so incredibly romantic. I feel they could be younger, I feel like somebody, uh, for some of you in their 20s, 25, or you guys could be 25. You guys could meet on the 25th. And they're saying, I know, I know you think the time is running out, and so do I. And it's like every second that we don't spend together, it's like a second wasted, but He's saying you gotta be patient because things like this grieving process it needs to come through you need to shed your skin they're saying and i need to shed mine and illusions must go i feel that your future spouse pile number one they're quite well off they don't say it here but it's this like illusionary success and they're saying i got money i got like a house, I got a car, I got like, you know, nice clothes, I got jewelry. But, and they probably live in a big, um, in a big city. But they're saying it's all, it's good. And, but it, they're saying like, it doesn't give me the love and the satisfaction that I'm craving. They're saying it's love, it's romance, it's intimacy, it's closeness, it's family that truly fills me and they're looking for that and they're craving that wow this is this is amazing pile number one this is this was a beautiful message i hope it resonated with you my darlings and i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe it really helps the channel out make sure to hit that bell uh, hit that bell icon so you guys are notified every time i post a new video for personal readings email me my emails in the description box below all right my lovelies take good care of your beautiful selves now bye all right my darlings so if you were drawn a two pile number two with the pink quartz let's go ahead and take a look at what your future spouse is going through right now what they're doing right now and their channeled message for you so we're going to start with your tarot cards okay so we have the chariot so you or your future spouse could be cancer Ooh, we have the six of wands and we have the four of cups being reversed over here so just from the tarot cards what i'm seeing is that your future spouse is busy hustling right now okay they're probably moving to another location they're probably trying to make it big in the world right now but they are working and they are victorious it's quite possible that for some of you your future spouse is going to be in the public eye and they're going to be quite famous uh, okay and they are getting out of the energy of apathy they're moving forwards they have been stuck they have been closed off to like the energies of the world for some time they were going through whatever it is that they had to go through but right now they're willing and ready okay your future spouse pile number two let me tell you something they're very good looking they are very very sexual they are very determined okay for some of you they could um have been or could still be in military or in the army i'm getting a lot of like this young and daring and flirty energy coming through so right now they are on top of their game and they're doing their thing okay right now they're earning that money earning that success they're working hard they are starting to notice a lot of opportunities that are coming through wow so very uplifting and beautiful energy over here okay and you know what it is guys another thing that's coming through very strong okay okay i see so another thing that's coming through very strongly is the fact while this is all happening that huge shift it's because they have worked through a lot of their ancestral um issues okay so first and foremost, I just want to say that your future spouse is part of your soul family, okay? This is really is your soul family. Um, deep love, mother's milk, birth, a portal, I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. Your future spouse, my darlings, are um, either almost 
over or over with working out their family issues with their ancestral healing ancestral trauma and now they're ready to go ahead and take on the world okay they have gone deep within their dna deep within their ancestral line and healed a lot of things especially with their family with their mothers they might have had a narcissistic mother they might have had an absent mother uh, okay or they might have even even felt like orphans most of their life but they have healed it okay they have gone through a massive massive internal shadow work they have faced this is why they're so proud of themselves and they really should be because they have done like a long time whether it was therapy or healing or reiki or um you know whatever it was they have done it there's also a strong connection to egypt so they could have been past life in egypt and the sphinx is over here um your future spouse could have dark skin and a beard uh, or a darker skin and a beard if we're talking about a woman over here i'm seeing somebody with long uh for some of you it's a long like dark hair for some of you it's like longer curly hair for some of you it's really somebody blonde <laughs> dark blonde but whatever it is, they are on top of their game because they have worked a lot of things. They have learned to say sorry. They have worked with their ego, okay? And they have really learned to, how to say sorry, how to apologize, how to see things from a different perspective. They have dealt with their issues in the sense of um, a feeling that you, they're not worthy. They are feeling worthy. They have, like, this is a healthy individual. This is really, really good. Like you're, I feel like pile number two, this is what you've been doing as well. Learning to love yourself, learning to um, get rid of, of, of the old energies, learning to say sorry, learning to let go. And if you haven't, then this is like your very strong message from your future spouse. Okay, so let me just get some channeling going over here. You guys could be 37. Um, your future spouse could be 37 we have act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you and will always consider them this is amazing your future spouse is coming through and saying darling i can't wait i can't wait to hold you i can't wait to lift you up i can't wait so this is giving me the energy that they truly want to like get, lift you higher this is what i'm hearing very strongly so for some of you it could literally be that the fact that they want to fly with you that they want to like show you the world that they want you to see how much you can achieve together they're saying i'm part of your soul family darling i'm part of your soul family they're saying you need, and it's also not only getting you higher in a sense of um you know altitude but it's also ascension in your spirituality and your self-love they're saying you gotta work through those issues with your family they're coming through very strongly they're saying it's part of our success it's part of um of the sort of of, of the reason that we need to come together, you know, and one of the, one of the things that you need to do before we come together is to work, you know, through the issues with your mother. And they're saying, we're gonna have children, we're gonna have a big family, a big family. They're saying, come on, believe it, believe it. Like right now, you really don't believe it. Right now, you really, like the energy, they're seeing your energy and they're saying your energy is so low right now, my darling. It's time to get up from your knees. It's time to like, let it go. And they're saying, imagine I'm there with you. They're sending you this energy of love. They're sending you the energy of support. Like your future spouse, pile number two, they, they're going to be very physically strong and mentally strong as well. And they're saying, we are the Hathers. They're saying, we are one. We are a star family. 
and they're sending you this energy of, of victory, of success. They're saying whatever might seem that that is impossible right now, they're saying you gotta work through it, darling. They're saying work through those things. Stop running away from pain. Stop running away from those issues with your family, especially your mother. They're saying you gotta work through this, my darling. For us to be together because otherwise you're just not going to let me come through you're not going to believe that you're worthy of love and they're saying oh my darling but you are you so are and i can't wait to show you how worthy you are and i can't wait to kiss you wow and do other naughty things to you like seriously they're so like flirty and they're so hot and they're so beautiful but they, at the same time they want you to they want to ignite that passion for life within you and they say we're gonna have a family and we're gonna have a family that is like it's going to leave a legacy on this light in this earth and they're saying you are going to be a mother or a father, but for a lot of you, it's a mother. And that deep love, that deep nourishment that you weren't given, they said, give it to yourself right now. Work through it. They really want you to work through it. Because then you will have that energy to accept love. Wow, my lovelies. They are coming through very strongly and they're saying like... Um, I think you're taking things very, very seriously. They're saying it's time to laugh. It's time to have some fun. They're saying we're going to have a lot of fun together. Don't you doubt it. And they have a very interesting sense of humor. And they're, they're very charming. And the way they wink at you, like, oh, pile number two. Hello. <laughs> all right, my darling. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my other upcoming videos. If you're watching this in February, remember all of my love readings, including the future spouse reading, are discounted right now. So for more details, just email me. My email's in the description box below. All right, my lovelies. Take good care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. Pile number three with the clear cords. Let's go ahead and take a look at your cards and see what your future spouse is going through right now, what they're doing, and the message, the channeled message that they have for you, my darlings. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords being in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and we have the Empress. So this is beautiful, my darlings. The lots of Virgo energy, wow. This is amazing. Right, let's see what else we have for you. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Star Brothers. Ors energy protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. And we have water, your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. All right, my darlings. So what your future spouse is going through right now is... Um, going through the end of conflicts, learning to compromise, learning to, they're basically growing up. This is what I'm hearing. They're growing up as a person. They're writing uh, things with, um, like, could be their brothers, actually their brothers. They're growing up. They are maturing. They are developing themselves. They're finding themselves. They're working through um, issues, uh, not issues, but like the divine feminine, the healing, their divine feminine and their sexuality as well. They're learning to balance the divine feminine and divine masculine within them. They are going through an end of some conflict. So for some of you, they are going through a breakup or through a divorce. Okay. Um, another thing that a lot of them are ending like a lot like a very long battle with their family or with like some friends they're realizing that it's just not worth it like they've been fighting with somebody or for something for a very long time 
and they just realize it's not worth it. For some of them, it was about um, proving something. They, they were trying to prove something, whether it was in business or in relationships. Um, another thing that they're leaving their job for quite a lot of you, they're going into self-employment, they're going traveling before that. Okay, they need perspective. They need, like, they need to zoom out from this world. They need rest. And this is what they're going through right now. They're probably going traveling, okay? Uh, it could be within their country. It could be into one of the open locations right now. Um, but they just need a time away. They need time to think and to contemplate. But for a lot of you, pile number three, I'm seeing like travel. They need clarity in their life right now. And this is what they're getting. They're growing up and they're treating their amazing selves, their body, their mind with this empress energy. So for a lot of you, we could be talking about a woman over here. It doesn't have to be. But this energy of taking care of yourself, of learning to receive. There's a big energy of learning to give and receive. Um, it's either that they have been trying to receive too much or give too much. There was a disbalance. It, was, it wasn't balanced, their energy. But right now they're learning about what it is they want in life. They're learning that they want to um, have a family. They're learning that they want to experience the pleasures of life. Okay, And they're learning how to rest how to nourish their body, how to be tender with themselves. They're learning a lot about their boundaries. About they, They're trying to communicate with their inner self, with their higher self for guidance, for protection. They're so loyal. They're so loyal. They're amazing. Like they might even, I don't know what it is. They might um, have this amazing love for dogs. They're learning how to trust themselves. They're learning how to feel safe within themselves. They're really focusing on themselves right now. Like they've been trying to project their anger onto, onto the outer world. And they've just been getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. And then they're like, okay, you know what? This algorithm, this way of thinking, it's not working. Not at all. So they're really rethinking what it is how is it that they need to progress so they are really pampering themselves so they might be going on a holiday they might be doing a lot of meditation if they're not going on a holiday although a lot of them are guys um there's this energy that they might be going to spas to massages like they are recovering another thing for some of you for a small part of you guys what i'm seeing they could have had an operation okay uh, or like, I'm not saying it's anything serious, but it might have changed their perspective. Like when they were ill or when they had this operation, but it's like it showed them who's, who and what is important. Like sometimes we need to be faced with a very tough choice or with a very like difficult situation to reevaluate our priorities in life. And I feel this is what they did. For some of you, I'm seeing like they might have worked so hard that they like got burned out and they, they got ill and they, like I said, they might have had an operation and then they're like, you know what? Like it's not worth it. It's not worth trying to prove myself to everybody. It's not worth trying to compete with everybody. It's not worth trying to be like show off and show that I'm the best to everybody. Like it's just not worth it. The energy... The, like the mental state the physical state and this is like I said there's, there's this energy of being more mature of moving forwards more thoughtfully of realizing that you want to be at peace with yourself and they're learning that not everybody is out to get them and they're learning how to water their garden Let's see what their channeled message for you is, my darlings. Yeah, look at that. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is the way to show love. So their channeled message for you 
is relax. Relax. I don't want you to experience the things that I'm experiencing right now. They're saying you need to rest. You need to rest. They're saying, I see that you want to move to another place. You, you guys might be 34, some of you. They could be... Um, they could be around 43. But I feel they look younger. I don't know what it is. Um, they could be 34. You guys could be 43 as well. They're saying, we're going to meet soon. They're saying, and we're going to meet soon. Sooner than you think. It's giving me the energy of spring, early summer over here. They could come from a place, um, from a place that has um, uh, a desert. It could be Egypt. It could be UAE. It could be a place in the states that has uh, a desert. So, but they are very strongly connected to Egypt. They really like. They're very wise. They like owls. They like eagles. Like there's this thing with birds that they like. They might have a brother, a twin brother. And they're saying, I'm going to protect you. I'm going to be loyal. You're going to feel safe with me. You're going to be able to trust me. But they're saying right now, take a step back. Take a step back and learn how to receive. Learn how to give to yourself. They're saying you've been giving to everybody but yourself. They're saying learn how to receive. You might be where it's cold right now or you might be where it's winter right now. And they're saying focus on you. I want you to focus on you. Trust that everything is working out as it should be working out. But right now you need to be your own focus. Nourish your body. Be tender. Rest. Put your sword down. Stop trying to compete with everybody. Stop trying to, like, you know, be like this. Think that you're harsh. Think that you're at war. Think that you're, the world is against you. No. Perspective. Zoom out. Zoom out. None of this really matters what they're saying. They're saying what you think matters really doesn't. But what matters is love. What matters is this feeling of peace. What matters is trusting in the flow of the universe. They're very wise, your future spouse. Very interesting. They're like growing up, but they're very wise. They're saying you're going to be safe. You're going to live in luxury. You're going to be able to be, to express this divine feminine side of you without fear. You'll be able to feel vulnerable without fear. They're saying, I have so much to give to you with my passion, with my love, with my finances. They're saying, you are my empress, but you don't see it yet because you're not learning to receive. You don't think that you're good enough. You don't think that you deserve it. You think that it's a tit for tat mentality with everybody. No. I think I want to give to you because you are an empress. Please learn how to accept. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you are a male watching this, your future spouse who still wants to give their love to you, their affection. And you got to learn how to receive that as well. And they're also laughing. They're saying, I'm going to give you those good old back rubs. Some of you might be into like gardening. Some of you might be into... Um, like nourishment, like dietary things. They're saying you're worth air. Like they're saying no flower in the world is as beautiful as you are. No flower in the world can compare to your beauty. No diamond shines or sparkles as, as brightly as your eyes do when I tell you that I love you. But you gotta receive. 
They saying, keep your light on, your heart light on, so that I can find my way to you. They're saying acceptance is the same. It, it, it also is the way of showing that you love. It's not only giving, but it's being able to accept. They're saying, allow me the happiness, the joy of, of seeing how happy you are when I give to you and you're able to receive it. They're saying, don't question my view of you ever. Because you're worthy of it. He's saying we're going to meet soon, sooner than you think. As soon as you open up your energy to receive. He's saying I'm going to melt your ice heart. Your heart of ice, I'm going to come through and I'm going to melt it. Because I am fire. I am fire. They're very temperamental as well, your future spouse, pal number three, wow. And they're saying, I'm, you're going to see clearly what really matters, what you're truly worthy of. They're saying, you're going to feel safe, safe to trust again. And there's a lot of energy of the sun. They're saying, we're going to go somewhere where there's sun. So I know you want to move, we'll move together. I'll help you, we'll move together. And they're saying, you are my empress, don't you ever forget that. Wow. This is one, there was something else, pile number three. Wow, oh my God. All right, my darlings, I think that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Make sure to hit that notification bell icon, okay? So you guys get notified when I post new videos on my channel. If you're watching this in February, remember that all of my love readings, including the future spouse readings, are at a discount right now. All you have to do is email me. My email's in the description box below. All right, my darlings, take good care of your beautiful selves now. Bye.